welcome to the truck wheelbase explanation video. So what I have rigged up here is my dedicated deck for measuring the wheelbase of trucks. So what I've done is I've got some risers on this side and I've got some 7 8 bolts on this side and they're sticking out just enough that I can fit the trucks on. So if you remember in the last video we talked about wheelbase and about the wheelbase of a deck and how where the truck on the deck makes it feel. So if the truck is further forward, it makes the front of the deck feel lighter. If the truck is further back, it makes the front of the deck feel heavier. So now we're gonna look at how each truck can do this as well. So what I have here is I have thunders on one end of the spectrum, a wide wheelbase, and I have these royals that I tried which are sort of on the other end and they have a short wheelbase. Now there are trucks that have a shorter wheelbase even. Um, Thieves would be one example. Aces are another example. But these are sort of in line with Indies. So we've got from Thunders down to an Indie wheelbase. Now let's check out these Thunders first. So we're going to measure both sides of this and average it out. 17 and 3 eighths plus. Right here we have 17 and 9 sixteenths plus. So 3 eighths and 9 sixteenths averaged out as 17 and a half, basically. We have about a 17 and a half inch wheelbase here. 17 and 7 sixteenths, probably. Let's write that down. That's the thunders. Now let's check the Royals. So what I'm measuring is I'm measuring from this outside edge of the axle to this inside edge of the axle and that actually gives me an exact measurement of center to center bolts here. And this is a bit rough, you could get more accurate but this is enough to get a general idea. So here we have 17 and an eighth. And this one is basically 17 and an eighth as well. So 17 and an eighth is the Royals. That's the Thunders. So how much is that though? That doesn't really tell you how much it is if you either know metric or if you just don't know how to read a tape measure. So that is 1 8 to 7 16 is 5 16 of an inch. So that is roughly the width of this pen. So your wheels shrink the width of that pen depending on which truck you have on. And so again, that is going to make these trucks will make the front of the deck feel lighter. These are the Royals right here. The front of your deck will feel lighter. These are the thunders. The front of your deck is going to feel heavier if you have these on. So again, my preference is to have the front of the deck feeling a little bit heavier because I'm able to get more explosive pop and do my tricks a little bit more the way I'm accustomed to when the front of my deck feels heavier. So if you want a nice medium truck, the Thunder Team Hollow Lights actually start to get a little bit smaller see what these ones are. Seventeen and seven sixteenths. That was the same as the other one. Seventeen and three eighths. So what we can say is these Team Hollow Lights are actually a sixteenth smaller than these Thunders. And that was consistent with what I did when I measured it the other time as well. Venture highs are in between a Thunder and a Royal. So in the description, I'm going to put in order of which has the smallest to largest wheelbase, all the trucks I have. Now I don't have every truck, so I can't actually get you the measurements of each one. Anyways, I hope that clarifies what changing the wheelbase of your trucks do. 
the next video is going to be on combining the right trucks with the right deck. Um, but really quickly, let's also get into turning. Widening your wheelbase is going to make you turn a little bit slower. Shortening your wheelbase is going to make you turn a little bit faster. Just think of, you know, a big large truck versus a small car like a Golf. So anyways, I hope this video helps you understand how trucks will affect your wheelbase and pop as well.